Hi there, I am Sheldon. I am a senior architect at CA Technologies, and I manage the Forward, Incorporated account. Forward, Incorporated is a banking organization. They use CA's SiteMinder to protect their IT applications. Their internet banking website is one of the applications protected by CA's SiteMinder. Users log into the internet banking website by using their user ID and password. Once they are authenticated, they are recognized by their name on the website. Forward, Incorporated also has a customer care website, which is not protected by CA's SiteMinder. This website is open to all visitors and allows them to enter their phone number to avail a callback option. Since this site is not protected by CA's SiteMinder, visitors are greeted as guests and not by their name. Registered Internet Banking users can also access the Customer Care website via a link available in the Internet Banking website. If they access the Customer Care website via this link, they are not recognized as registered users anymore. They are greeted as guests and are prompted to enter their phone number in case they wish to avail the callback option. Forward Incorporated wants to ensure that if the registered users visit the customer care website via the Internet Banking application, their details are automatically updated in the customer care website. We can meet this requirement by configuring agentless single sign-on in CA's SiteMinder. Agentless SSO configuration enables the protected Internet Banking application to send the registered user's details such as name, mobile number, and location to the unprotected Customer Care website. The Customer Care website then displays these details dynamically. Let us see how Agentless SSO is configured in CA's SiteMinder. On the CA's SiteMinder administrative homepage, enter your username and password, and then click Login. Click Policies. Select Applications. To demonstrate the configuration of Agentless Single Sign-On, we have created a test application by the name Education App. This application is protected by CA's SiteMinder and an agent is associated with it. In the Forward, Incorporated scenario, this application is similar to their Internet Banking application. To configure Agentless Single Sign-On, we will modify this application and create a response. Also, we will associate appropriate response attributes with it. To continue, click the Edit button. Click Responses. And then, click Create Response. In the Create Application Response pane, enter a response name. To associate appropriate response attributes with this response, click Create Response Attribute. From the Attribute drop-down list, select HTTP, Open Format Cookie. In the Attribute Fields section, enter a cookie name. And then enter the time to live for this cookie. We also need to select an encryption algorithm. The encryption algorithm is used for encrypting and decrypting the Open Format Cookie content. From the drop-down list, select an encryption algorithm. Enter an encryption password and click the Generate Encryption Key button. The encryption key is generated. We would need to use this key in the later steps of the configuration. It is recommended to make a note of the key for later use. Let us now select the attributes for this response. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have selected the username, user login name, and the authentication level attributes. You can also enter optional user attributes. We have created a response and associated appropriate attributes with it. To continue, click OK. In the next step, we will map the policy of this application with the response. Click Policies. Select appropriate responses for the resources. And, then click the Submit button. To close the application section, click the Close button. In the next step, we will launch the Internet Information Services Manager, IIS, and modify the unprotected application. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have created an application which is not protected by CA's SiteMinder. We have named it Test App. In the forward, incorporated scenario, this app is similar to their customer care website.
browse to the web.config file within this application. To open the web.config file, right click and then select open with notepad++. In the app settings section, update the cookie name. We also need to update the encryption key. Enter the encryption key that has been generated earlier in the response attributes section. Note that the encryption key is updated in a hexadecimal format of one word length. Verify that the encryption format is similar to the one in the response attribute. To save the configuration, click File, and then select Save. For the changes to take effect, we need to restart the IIS. On the command prompt, type IIS Reset. Let us now log into the protected application to verify the configuration changes. To log into the protected application, enter the username and password, and then click the Log In button. This is the JSP page of the protected application that we have created for the purpose of this demonstration. It has all the information captured from the user session. In the next tab, you can open the test application which is not protected by CA SiteMinder. Notice, selected attributes have been passed onto this application and displayed dynamically. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit www.ca.com education.